We will do better tonight. That's Mike Vining, 17th year as head coach of Northeast Louisiana. And he is the all-time leader in Southland Conference victories, 162 wins. And let's take a look now at the starting lineups for Northeast Louisiana. Northeast Louisiana, who's already played uh, some very, very good teams, Xavier, Purdue, and Illinois State. So a uh, team that's used to playing good competition. You can see Dennis Newton starts at center. He's their uh, all-time leading shot blocker, so a guy that's big and strong inside. Then you got Fleming Hart Hartnett. Anthony, who had his career high the other night against Illinois State in a 73-60 loss, he had 20, and their ball handler, Daryl Jones. If you're Indiana Hoosiers, Jason Collier gets to start inside. At the forwards, you got Luke Recker, William Gladness, and at the guards, A.J. Guyton, who has a left wrist that's hurting just a little bit, along with Luke Jimenez getting his first start of the year. The starting lines were brought to you by the Sagamore Health Network. There's Coach Bob Knight. He's trying to reach his 700th victory as the head coach at Indiana, 210 losses, almost 75% winning percentage. So this could be a very special game for Bob Knight and the Hoosiers. Let's take a look inside for Indiana. It's Patterson and Collier. This was their stats on Friday. They both need to come through and shore up that inside game for Indiana. Well, against a, a Hawaii team that just didn't have the, the quickness or the size inside, go out every night thinking, well, maybe I'll get 10. I think he's thinking about uh, you know doing, obviously, whatever the team needs, but the team needs him to score 25 or 30 every night. This Indiana team, uh, the other night, they needed Andre Patterson to go for 20. And Andre will not start tonight. Indiana, much different lineup, so we'll see when Andre comes into the lineup. Luke Jimenez and Turner at the guards. Recker and Gladness with the forwards. Jason Collier at center. We're ready to go. And the tip controlled by the Indians of Northeast Louisiana. See Luke Jimenez right out on top of him as soon as he gets the ball. Let's see if Indiana can take some things away right here. I think that this Indiana team needs to be much more physical offensively. If somebody loses their man inside, they get an easy layup to start the game. Back pick out there. Jimenez got confused on a switch, and uh, Northeast Louisiana has the early lead. See Indiana gets it inside right away, though. Right there. It's a good cut, good pass inside. That's a good shot. Indiana's going to make a majority of those shots. Jason Collier has to get his feet underneath him to get that one in. Defensively, I think it's interesting to see if Indiana can really body up on some people. Seems like they just let people dribble wherever they want to go. Luke Recker with some quick hands right there. Great steal, a layup. He very, got that one to go. Very, very soft. And you can see what we talked about. Indiana's offense starts on the defensive end. When Indiana is at their best, they're going to knock the ball away. They're going to rebound the basketball. The other night, uh, really didn't do much of any of that against Hawaii. 21 is Daryl Jones. He's the point guard. Here's 20. Dan Hartnett. And he hits that rainbow from the outside three-pointer. And here's and the press. A full-court press. They won an up-tempo game. Not exactly a Kentucky-type press that they're looking to, to trap you down in the corners and really body you up. But uh, it is a team that going to put a little pressure on you. Good Jimenez open. Good screen by Jason Collier. Now, that's the one thing Coach talked about, about screening. You know, I mean, uh, this Indiana team has not been a team that's screening and gearily getting people open that time. Collier comes up, does a nice job, opens up Luke, Luke Jimenez. Jimenez on defense now. He's got Daryl Jones, a point guard. Outside shot by Marcus Anthony. He's their leading scorer. Misses on that one. Good lockout by Indiana. Turner down quickly. Lobs it to Gladness. Little jump hook is off. Collier has it. Puts it back in. Jason Collier just has to get inside against teams like this. I mean, he's big. He's strong. Yeah, get inside. Get your hands up right there. The ball comes off the rim. He's able to rebound it and put it back in. Indiana now up by two. Oh, Recker's good anticipation sneak. by Luke Recker. He was into the passing lane, but couldn't come up with it. Great anticipation. He was standing back there like a defensive back in the middle, and he saw that one coming and uh, almost picked it off. The pressure by Jimenez on top. See, Rob Turner, one-on-one, -on -one, can really do a good defensive job. An excellent shot there. Marcus Anthony going to his left and hit that jumper to tie the score. Man-to-man <laughs> -man defense by Northeast Louisiana. Gladness on the baseline move. Collier. 
Sharper on offense. Let's see how the screening pans out for tonight's game. Record turning in the lane and hits that jumper, his fourth point. Luke Record, a guy that can really make a lot of things happen. We've seen him already knock the ball away defensively, but there, a nice, nice little move, one dribble, down inside, opens himself up for a good little shot. There goes your guy, Marcus Anthony, on top. There's the inside pass. Blocked that time. Gladness and Kyle, you're both there. Scrap for the ball. Good hands, lads. <laughs> you're right all down. over that one. All they ask me to do is pass anymore, yeah. Kitch. I never get to shoot. <laughs> Good job. Let's take a look at Indiana's defense down inside and watch how they go after the loose ball. Good job by Kyle. You're coming over. Doesn't leave his feet until the man commits himself. Then after that, the way Indiana went after the loose ball the other night, they got killed on loose balls by Hawaii. Tough shot down inside. Collier there once again. Jason Collier going to pick up a lot of easy points just going to the offensive board. Dennis Newton is the uh, Indian center. 6'9", 254, but Collier's had his own way here early in the game. Luke Record goes down hard in the lane. Good job. Good defense by Turner right there. Not a very good shot. Steps on the out-of-bounds line. Jimenez got beat there on the block out, but Indiana will get the ball. Collier now with four points. Young crew out there to clean up matters, and we're ready. Yeah, record could easily go long and beat his man. See, it's just a little token pressure. Now trap. Jimenez in trouble. Collier releases, and so does Gladness. Jason Collier, an outstanding pass. Nice job of coming up in the middle, releasing, opening himself up for Luke Jimenez, who was in trouble, and then William Gladness going to the basket. Well, Indiana wanted to play with more intensity. Collier is really showing it here for the Hoosiers now. They're playing with intensity, but they're also playing smart. They're not making uh, you know, the mistakes that Coach Knight felt like they made the other night. Rob Turner going to have to do a better job of getting, getting up over that down screen. Marcus Anthony with that three-pointer. Collier's on the block against Newton. The ball got under Turner, now a steal. And a foul as Turner tried to prevent that layup. First night talking to Jason Collier. Not making a little bit better pass. It was a very tough pass to handle. Rob Turner couldn't get his hands on it. Great job by Anthony to come up with it. Turnover will be something in Indiana will be watching. That's the first one, the bad pass by Collier. Joe Jones seems to have hurt his knee a little bit, probably bumped knees. That's Rob Turner going to the basket. Here we have, the, again, the uh, only five guys on the lane plus the shooter. Come on, come on. Mentioned on Friday, uh, several times the shooter was able to get his own rebound because uh, the defense didn't get to put that sixth man on the line to block him out one more day. There it is again, just as we talked about it. Now a lob pass inside, the layup is good. Joe Fleming, 6'5", senior, hits that one. Should be a high-scoring game. Northeast Louisiana gives up 90 points a game. Inside pass, Collier, left-handed hook, Great. is good and a foul. Great read by one another. I mean, Luke Jimenez does a nice job of getting the ball to Luke Record. We got a lot of Lukes in there tonight, but take a look at Jason Collier working down, looking to screen. One thing this team needs to do better is screen. You've done a better job tonight. Good job of catching the ball. It's going to have to learn to get that ball up just a little bit quicker as Newton slapped at it, wasn't able to get it. Collier has a chance at the three-point play. Collier hits it. And Indiana's off to a good start in intensity. You're watching Big Ten Basketball on the ESPN Plus Network. Quarter system, experimental in a lot of tournaments, and in this one as well. Jimenez on the defense, he got beat. Uh, Daryl Jones a little quicker, and it's already shown here early. But I think it's important to see Luke Jimenez out there at least getting a body on somebody. I mean, so many times, at least he's making it tough. I mean, Indiana's got to obviously come over and help down low. But I think it's important for Indiana to start bodying up on people. There's a block, record block that one. Now he's out on the fast break. Spins. And that ball nearly pinned on the backboard, but nice block. Collier slaps that one into the Indiana bench. Well, that's something we haven't seen 
out of Jason, and that is a Big Ten play right I there. I think more than the block shot, he's in he's in position right here. Good spin by Wrecker right here. Great job by Northeast Louisiana getting back on defense. See a block on the other end, but he's in good position. Gets him with the body a little bit downstairs, but uh, excellent block, and then the Northeast Louisiana throws it out of bounds at the Indiana bench. Indiana by four. Wrecker. That's a bad one. Radness comes away with it. Turner's got to be open along the baseline. He's got it there. Recovery though by Jones. Near steal. Jones is after it. Now it is stolen. Good defense by Northeast one. Louisiana. Marcus Anthony gets the easy one. He's averaging 13 and a half a game. Their leading score. Again, very quick. Very quick. You can see him come over and double team right there. Turner all the way through the lane and gets the roll. Rob Turner's going to get by offensively on pure athleticism. We saw it the other night against Hawaii. Hit some big shots for Indiana. He needs to learn the defensive rules, and he needs to fight, fight up and over screen. Jones on the point. Turner comes to help. That leaves Anthony open. We saw that Friday night. You can't leave that good shooter and let him take three pointers. Exactly. Good penetration by Northeast Louisiana. Indiana throws it away, but good penetration, pop it back out. That's what teams have so much success in it against Indiana. Penetrate, throw it out, shoot the three. Three turnovers now for Indiana. High pick set on top. Gladden is helping out, and this time Turner stays with Anthony to prevent that jump shot. Drive in the lane. Outside shot is good. And that's Anthony again. He's got a nice soft touch. 6'2", 176 pounds. Very confident, as we mentioned, coming off his career high. 20 points the other night against Illinois State. He's got 12 already here in the first quarter. We're barely seven minutes into the game. That time Rob Turner drive to the hoop. See, he's just a wonderful athlete, especially offensively. He just does so many good things, and I think probably the most important thing is that he's unafraid. I've seen that in some of the three-point shots he's taken from well beyond the arc. And travel. Turnover by Northeast Louisiana. It's Indiana by one as we wind down the first quarter. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. In Honolulu, Indiana by one. A.J. Guyton, 25, with the ball right there in the lineup. He replaces Luke Jimenez. Good start for Indiana here early. There's a foul. That will go on Anthony, I think. Marcus Anthony ran through the screen right there, and they got him. Oh, that one on Newton, actually, the center. Collier goes up, misses. Indiana staying right with it, though. He's got to take that lead, but he's got to take that. He's got to show the guy on him. The Rob Turner buries it. An offensive force here in the last two minutes. Turner nails that one. He's got seven points now. It's just what means he's not afraid to take those shots, couple passes, and look at A.J. Guyton. A much better job defensively putting pressure on people right there. Joe Childers, 22 in the lineup. Excellent hands by A.J. Guyton, getting the, knocking the ball off the thigh of the Indians player. Childress just in the ball game, 5'10 junior. There's a look at your turnovers, only three now for Indiana. 32 is Jeter, also in the lineup. Terrell Jeter, 6'3", sophomore, here comes Indiana. Now trying to use that quickness. Gladness, the only guy you want handling the basketball more, right there is where you want him handling. One dribble. Collier stepped into a double team and got called for the jump ball. You know, right there, Jason Collier has got to feel that defense coming down in on top of him. He has to know that that guard's there, his defender's right there. That's something that he's missing right now. He doesn't feel that. Because of it, he almost turns the basketball over for Indiana. Guy goes back into Collier. Spins. And this time... 
foul is charged as again Childers double team, but uh, foul Jason on the arm. Take a look at it to see Jason Kyer. At least if he finds that, finds where everybody is, notices nobody there, little shot fakes, gets Newton, and you can see Childers comes over and grabs his arm right there, and he'll shoot two. Indiana a little bit more patient in their play offensively. Uh, you know, sometimes they become so impatient and they're uh, impatient and they're so so athletic that they're able to get to the basket, but not always get the type of shots that Coach Knight's looking for. Jason Collier, nine points in the first quarter. He had a terrific effort. Larry Richardson comes in to replace him, but Collier really doing the job offensively. I'm sure Coach Knight will give him a you know two or three minute rest, maybe even the, the, the rest of the first quarter, and then put him back, see what type of uh, second quarter he's gonna have. But between Turner and Collier, he pretty much dominated on the offensive end so far for Indiana. 15 of Indiana's 25 points. Michael Lewis also in the game for Indiana. Here's a held ball stolen by Gladness up to Richardson and the slam dunk. Great catch by Larry Richardson, but great defense by Indiana. That's the type of thing Coach Knight's wanting to see right there. Want to see somebody put a body on somebody, take some things away defensively. Inside pass, that's good work that time as Childress got down the lane and dumped it off. Door cut by Wrecker. And that pass deflected away, but the foul. Childress picks that up. Take a look at the steal. A.J. Guyton knocks it away, then he has to pick it up. Nice job getting out in the pass. And a great catch by Richardson. Doesn't travel, puts it in. Very good hands right there. Shot clock is off now. Indiana, 35 seconds left in the quarter. They begin to run the clock. Inside now, Richardson loses control. Gladness picks it up, 20 seconds left. Richardson, a little turning jump shot on the baseline. Outstanding move. The one thing about Larry Richardson, in most cases, he doesn't try to do more than he can do, and that's just catch the ball on the block, take the little jump shot. Oh, good pressure right there by Luke Recker. And can't, Hawaii can't get the shot away. Actually, Northeast Louisiana could not get the shot away. And Indiana leads it by eight to quarter. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Well, good to see you here, Tom. Let's see how Indiana's defense carries over into the second quarter. Oh. Nearly stolen and ends up an easy basket for Maurice Bell. 6'4 sophomore, he's actually the second leading scorer, but comes off the bench. Good play by Northeast Louisiana. C couldn't get his hand on it, he tipped it. Tipped it away to the player. Good play. Indiana's got too many people posting down low. There's one guy that ought to be posting, the other guy ought to be going out to screen somebody on the outside. You got more than that, you got too many. Andre Patterson in the lineup to start the second quarter. Shot is off. Go, go, go! Childress has it. Good drive that time all the way in, the reverse layup. Indiana giving up the first four points here in the second quarter. He was cut to four. Good AJ screen. Green. Excellent screen right there. Indiana doesn't come away with the basket, but it was a good screen. Fast-paced game as we expected. Should be high scoring as well. Inside pass. And again, Maurice Bell up with the shot and draws the foul. Andre Patterson gets beat down low. Some good movement. Transferred from Louisiana Tech. Bell. Gray McGill checks in, 6'6", six, six, Junior. Okay, balls in play, one shot, heads up. He replaces Anthony. Anthony, the leading scorer with 12 points in tonight's game. Six -oh, uh, it's a 5 -oh run to start the second quarter. I gave him that free throw, he wasn't able to convert. But uh, Indiana needs to get it going offensively. 
Lewis into the lane and a foul. Childress picks that one up. That's three uh, team fouls for Indiana, five for Northeast Louisiana. Darrell Jones checks back in. That guard. Out of bounds play set up for Guyton on the weak side, but it's not open. Richardson inside. Shot fake by Lewis. Good ball movement by Indiana. Come up with a good shot. Not able to convert. Northeast Louisiana running it the other way. Indiana back quickly to stop that break. You know what? I don't know if Jeter plays football, but he ought to. He's got some pipes on him right here. Number 32. He is a big boy. Put together very well. Pipe says in uh, smoking pipe. What are you talking about? <laughs> you mean his legs? Clear, they were much more aggressive early in the game. Larry Richardson with a nice rebound right there. There's Dennis Newton, the six-nine center. Now, they just gave that foul. The official score to Charlie Miller, but I think it's supposed to be on Jeter. It's got to be our Bell, the excuse me. Team. That's yeah, it's supposed to be on Maurice Bell. They gave it to Charlie Miller. Uh, hopefully somebody will change that. They're both for number three. Steal by Jeter. And that was a slam dunk unless Charlie Miller got there. He committed the foul. But Jeter's pretty explosive. Yeah, very explosive. And you can, if, you know, if you take a look at his body, you can see why. Very poor pass right here. Jeter anticipates very nicely, comes up. He's going to try to finish right here. Charlie Miller bangs him with the body. Great play by Jeter for Northeast Louisiana Indians. Jeter is a sophomore. He had the highest scoring total in 12 years for a freshman at Northeast Louisiana. He was 12 last year, so he made a big splash his first year. Take a look down on the blocks now. I mean, it's important that you block out there that Indiana did a nice job that time. There wasn't any chance of Northeast Louisiana coming up with that rebound. There's got to be some openings against this zone press because uh, there's just people chasing everybody. Indiana needs to spread it out to find some of those openings. And you don't beat it on the dribble, you beat it with the pass. Exactly. A little pass fake up and over, and uh, you, you find some openings. Patterson forced one in there to Richardson that wasn't there. And Indiana's fifth turnover of the night. Indiana yet to score in this quarter. Two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Baseline move, Lewis. Comes back out to Jeter. AJ got on has one. It. Two on one, he goes to Andre. Contact, but the layup goes in. Andre finishes off nicely. Good no call by the official. There's obviously some body contact there, but uh, nobody hurt. And uh, good break. Nice break by Indiana. Well run by A.J. Guyton. There's Newton. Maurice Bell on the drive. Richardson tried to draw that charge and pick up the foul. Again, in good position, Larry Richardson in good position right there. Right here, I don't think there's any reason to come down for Michael Lewis to come down on Newton. I don't think he's a scoring force unless he's got it a couple feet from the basket. See Larry Richardson in excellent position right there. They might have thought that he, he didn't establish his position until the player was up in the air. So that's maybe why they gave it to the offensive player. Jason Collier back in the lineup for Indiana. Had a good first quarter with nine points. Good defense by Indiana. Great shot. That's Ray McGill. A spinning shot on the baseline is good. Here's Jeter again playing center field. He can't come up with it. And Charlie Miller, it's, it's that dunk shot was blocked by Jeter. Unbelievable. They laid that one in. And it didn't go down. And Ray McGill on the other end hits it. They got the lead. Fifth point, and Northeast Louisiana has the lead. Timeout is called by Indiana right in front of the bench. And a quick turnaround here as Indiana had the lead at the quarter. 
and has scored only two points here in this second quarter. Not able to live with success so far. Indiana very dominant in the first quarter. Take a look at the block. Charlie Miller goes up for the dunk. You can see Jeter comes over. We talked about his explosiveness earlier. He knocks it away. Indiana can't get it. McGill comes back down the floor, gets in position, knocks down the three-pointer right here in front of us. See, so just hit a fall away from the other side of the floor. He's feeling it. He buries the three, and that gives Northeast Louisiana their first lead of the game. 32-31. The Indians in the lead. This 22nd timeout brought to you by the Outback Steakhouse. Coaches with 700 wins in Division I. The recently retired Dean Smith and Coach Bob Knight, one of the few on that list. Early in the first quarter, there was a lot of good screening going on. Indiana was getting some outstanding shots. Not happening this quarter. Michael Lewis, there's a shot fake. Got him a 15-footer, and he nails it. A lot of people talk about the shot fake. Indiana works on it daily, and you can see if used correctly, it really opened you up for a lot of shots. First two for Lewis. Inside, that's McGill again. He wants that shot. Strong this time, and Gladness comes away with it. Oh. Again, nearly stolen. As Daryl Jones goes over the top, Indiana's got the lead by one. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. That was some high stepping by Daryl Jones. And there you see the run, 11 to four by Northeast Louisiana. The Indiana shots much quicker this quarter. Not having near as much success. They're getting decent shots, but not making that defense work each and every time down the floor. And, uh, that's what coach has really got set up. He wants that defense to have to work every time down the floor. Maurice Bell, that baseline jumper. Now the full court pressure. Double team, Wrecker on the dribble. And they're gonna say he carried the ball. And it's a turnover. Coach Knight doesn't totally agree there. It feels like the defense got their hands all over Luke Wrecker. Six turnovers for Indiana. Long outside shot off. A.J. Guyton has it. Line is trying to post. Now Collier. Jump hook is off. And Jeter again with the rebound. Sure, Coach, you'd like to see him come down. Coach Knight would like to see Indiana come down. Get five, six passes. Really make the defense work, as I mentioned last time. Another... Two passes and the shot goes up. Not exactly what Indiana is looking for offensively. Collier deflects it, saves it. There we go. And he's back into play right in front of our area, Maurice Bell. There's a lot of action here this time. Last last three times you know they've been close to Woo. us. I think these shirts are attracting the, yeah. uh, the players, Ted. Five seconds. Five second call. And another turnover by Indiana. This second quarter has not helped. Took four points for Indiana in the first six minutes. Their eight-point lead at the quarter has now gone to a three-point deficit. Rob Turner going to check in for Michael Lewis. Couldn't find anybody to throw the basketball to. And there's some turnovers. Again, hurt Indiana in tonight's game. Seven for Indiana. On him, but he gets rid of it. Oh, good Steel. anticipation by Guyton. Steps in the lane, drop pass, and Wrecker has two dunks in a row. A.J. Guyton made that play. The defense is what makes it happen. Great anticipation by A.J. Guyton. Indiana comes out to a one-point lead, and just like that, the intensity seemed to pick up on the defensive end, and Indiana's two dunks get them back to a one-point lead. Now it's gone to a full turn to Mon. See Turner with an outstanding pass. Good job by Luke Recker filling the lane. Then the next time down, Guyton with a great anticipation knocks it away again. Recker fills right behind him and gets another dunk. Good inside move that time by Jones. Great set up the open shot. Guyton again down quickly. This time back to Gladness, and he couldn't come up with it. 
Not a very good pass right there. He's either got to take that one to the basket. William Gladness is really not in position. Not William Gladness's fault. Not a very good pass by A.J. Guyton. Timeout is called by Indiana. This will be a 30-second timeout. Another experimental rule to expand that timeout to 30 seconds instead of 20. Is there anything else we can connect? Yes. See what's there. Collier now 11 first half points. AJ Guyton has got to do a better job of getting over that screen. He just can't continue to get screened out front, continue to run into it. Good defense by Indiana, but AJ Guyton, every time they screen him out front, he's either got to get underneath that or he's got to get over the top, one or the other, but you can't continue to run into it and get caught behind. Turnover by Northeast Louisiana. Turner on the dribble, nearly lost it. Now Guyton sets up. Wrecker. Open for three and missed it. Indiana not back, although Guyton Guy able to block that shot, and now it goes out of bounds. Guyton gets up and knocks that one away. Woo! Put, put down a block shot for the little man right there. Nice timing there as he swats it out of bounds. 34 seconds on the shot clock. Six blocks now for Indiana. Not known to have that many in uh, two games, let alone the first half of one. Tough shot there as the good pressure applied. Gladys with the rebound, oh, three on one. Got to give it up. Can't let Jason Collier catch the ball out there. He's got to stop once he catches that. And he end up with... Wrecker on the steal. Here's Turner. He flips it back. Gladness lays it in. Indiana almost too unselfish at this point in time. Making that extra pass almost got him in trouble. Did get him in trouble a second ago, but uh, come up with the easy layup. Here comes that screen right there, and he continues. See how he gets behind right there? He gets behind, then you never catch up. Steal by Gladness. Jump hook by Turner. How about that shot on the baseline by the guard? He's got everything he needs down on the offensive end. He just does an outstanding job. And he makes tough shots look easy. Nine now for Turner. Oh, no. Nobody drops back. Good job by Northeast Louisiana to penetrate, draw the defense to you, and then drop the ball off. Jason Collier has got to see what's going on and get down inside and help out. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. Indiana, the shot clock is off. Let's see if they wait for the last shot. Five-point lead right now. We've got three guys out there. One of them ought to be able to find the shot between Rob Turner and Jalong. And right down to Collier. It slipped away. Still five seconds. And Collier hits a fading jump shot. That beats the clock. So again, Indiana makes a nice run in the last five minutes of the second quarter. Collier now with 13 points. You're watching Big Ten. But then a foul. The other night against Hawaii, he didn't really have anything. Got a charging foul. Good job under control. Take a look at the leading scores. Anthony and Bell, their leading scores are 12 each. 13 for Collier, 10 for Luke Recker. Collier, and no, he missed that jumper. Good shot right in the lane. Both teams man-to-man -man defense. Long shot this time, falls up short, that's Anthony. And Northeast Louisiana steps on the line, Indiana ball. Tough to rebound those ones that never hit the rim. You expect them to hit the rim, and all of a sudden they come down about hitching the nose. Three on one. Wrecker, Collier, and the foul, that was Newton, who caught him on the arm, his second foul. That's one you'd like to see a seven-footer finish. I mean, Newton's only six foot nine. Pretty good job by Luke Wrecker to get him the basketball. Jimenez sees Wrecker up, you can see, he's gotta get that ball up on the glass. I mean, he's seven foot tall, he's gotta get his, his feet underneath him, either dunk the basketball or go up so strong that you can just lay it off the bank board. Knowing, knowing that you're going to get fouled. I mean, you, you can see the guy coming, you know he's going to foul you, but you still got to get that in the basket. Collier now all five of his free throws, and he is the game's leading scorer with 15 points. 
I think it's important to see Collier at the free throw line. When Indiana's big guys are not going to the line, that tells you one thing, they're not getting the ball down inside. Indiana, again, trouble with that screen out front. They get by with it, but they've got to do a better job of talking to one another, and whoever's guarding the ball has got to fight underneath that. Guyton avoids the steal, drives into the lane, count the basket and the foul. A.J. Guyton all alone. You see, Daryl Jones goes for the steal out front. And A.J. Guyton, after he gets by him, see Newton comes over, smacks him right across the head. But see, I mean, that, 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 that's what we're talking about right there, knowing you're going to get the contact. Right here, we're talking about the screen. Luke Record does not fight up. Even if you don't get over it, you got to get under it. So the guy doesn't get the advantage. You can see they get the advantage. They miss the easy layup. The old screen and roll, the oldest play in basketball. And you've got to do a better job defensively. Teams in the Big Ten will just, just eat you up if you continue to play it like Indiana's playing it here tonight. Indiana's lead is 12 now, their biggest. Marcus Anthony outside is off. And Gladness comes away with it. Now Guyton. Collier's got to free himself. Luke Jimenez right there needed to see Collier freeing himself. Wrecker on the drive. That's a tough one. He's going to his left. Had to shoot back across his body. Outstanding athleticism right there. I mean, only a freshman. We've seen that he can do some tremendous things. He anticipates right there. 12 points, now 14 for Wrecker on the steal. And the slam, Northeast Louisiana calls timeout. Indiana has surged to a 16-point lead. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. Out of bounds, things have really turned to Indiana's way. 23-2 in the last six minutes. That's the end of the second quarter and the start of the third quarter. Luke Rector, only a freshman, has had a lot to do with that both offensively and defensively. Right there, you've got to get the ball to Collier. He's got to have it down inside. Under his left shoulder that time. Couldn't get that jumper to go, but they got it to him where they needed it. Jason's got to learn to spin just a little bit quicker. He's just a little bit slow in everything that he does and at the college level. Especially you get into the Big Ten, you spin that slow and uh, you know somebody's going to be throwing it, throwing it out of there. So he's got to learn to do things a little faster pace. This time the Indians get the ball in. Northeast Louisiana, a team that could obviously make a run. Jeter, big, strong athlete right there, but they've got some. Marcus Anthony can score. Daryl Jones, the same. Better defense. Shot clock is down to 12. Much better help defense by Indiana. And a steal, Jimenez. And you Marcus right there with the foul. Jimenez took a hard fall to the court. Seems to be all right. He's from Minnesota. They make them tough up there. There's no problem there, but good job coming in. Slaps the ball away, comes up with it. You can see, hello, grabs a hold of the jersey, Marcus. Anthony grabs a hold of him, pulls him down. And he comes out of the game. Full court pressure, Wrecker has it. See, they're starting to trap out of it. That'll, there'll be a lot of openings if you just look for them. Gladness inside. Oh, good fake, good fake. That shot fake got both defenders in the air. So you can see the difference in the quickness of William Gladness when he's got the ball and Jason Collier. J Jason seems, Jason Collier seems to, you know, do everything a little mechanical. Watch Gladness, how he, little shot fake, boom. Now he's up, right back up quick before anybody else can get up there and he's able to lay the ball in and have the chance at a three-point play. Six now for Gladness. Nice and got him again. Indiana he, team. he got him again on the lane. <laughs> he got him the other night and he got him again. Well, the first time any team sees Gladness, you think that shot's going right up and he gets a, uh, a freebie here. He kind of sets it in his hand and then. There we go. They, they got used to it. Got him an additional point as he hits this one. Indiana with some full court pressure.
switch up that time. Guyton, oh, he stripped him with the left hand. And now behind the back, and there's Gladys. That's several times that drop pass has worked. This time it's Gladness picks up his ninth point. Well, AJ does all the work right there. He does the, he does the picking of the pocket right here. He does the dirty work, reaches around, picks the pocket, but he saw William Gladness coming all the way, and you can see McGill. McGill didn't like it right there. Although Gladness kind of jumped up on his shoulder. Nobody hurt, but an outstanding play by AJ Guyton. Northeast Louisiana started out the second quarter very, very strong and has really struggled ever since. Shot uh, missed. Gladness comes away with it. Wrecker, careful. And he sets it up. What does it feel like around the fast break like that and you jump up and you land on a guy's shoulders, Doug? <laughs> Only if the guy had fallen to his knees would I know. <laughs> Collier gets his 17th point. Now Indiana up by 23, so a game that uh, Northeast Louisiana had a five-point lead in that second quarter is really gone the other way. Easy basket there for Northeast Louisiana. Coach Knight still up. Steal, and it is a steal. Great, great job by Jeter right there to come up the sideline, shows his quickness, fires it back in, not knowing what's there. Indiana has to know that there's going to be traps. You need to spread out, find the openings. Pressure in the backcourt and a foul. Drop pass by Gladys is knocked out of bounds. Going to get caught, caught up in the air right there. Right there is the way Gladys needs to catch it and then let Collier position himself, and you've got to feed the post. That's what Coach Knight's looking for. Gladness makes a nice move to get open on that out-of-bounds play. Wrecker steps right back into the post in his foul. Pretty good job by Jeter right there on, down on the post, showing his strength. Luke Wrecker much taller, but Jeter able to take the ball away, but they did get him for a hold. One of these Louisiana bench wondering what happened here. They were in the game. And now it's really expanded. Well, that one is good. Indiana doing a much better job at the free throw line tonight. They really struggled, they and Hawaii, the other night shooting from the free throw line. The record is career high. Now at 16 points, more than he scored in the previous three Indiana games. Halfway through this third quarter, now Indiana by 21. Good step out by Luke Recker right there. Make them pick up the basketball, and all of a sudden it really changes things, what they're trying to get done offensively. Jimenez trying to force to the baseline on McGill. And again, Guy keeps the action on the right side of the floor. Shot is missed, and a nice rebound there by Bell. Northeast Louisiana having to take some really difficult shots here in the second half. Mostly three-pointers. You can see Indiana doing a nice job converting, converting on people down on the baseline. There's a drive in the lane, and then the bounce pass. That play hurts Indiana. Quite often, they can't let that guy in the middle. Take a look at it. See the trap right down there. And you get the penetration. And this is what really kills you. A.J. Guyton's got to get more face up on him. You know, rather than getting on a side, you can get on a side if he's over on the side of the court. But when he's in the middle of the court, you got to face up on him. And you can't let him drive down the middle of the lane like A.J. Guyton did right there. Things like that will kill you. 42 is Earl Shepard, 6'6", junior. Thought he was going to be a redshirt this year, but they decided to go ahead and play him. Gladness comes out. Did you tell me he's 6'6", 160? 6'6", 160. That's what they list him in the program. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty thin, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's thin. Jimenez hey, hey. hey. outside for a three. Pretty quick. Jumped pretty well that time. He'll pick up that foul. So stretched out for that rebound. That's his second. Collier has 17. Recker has 16. Gladness has nine. So Indiana spreading the scoring. Rob Turner also with nine. This is where in the first, after the first quarter, Indiana kind of relaxed. Northeast Louisiana really got themselves going. Took, took about a five-point lead. 
and see with a lot of time left here how Indiana is able to handle having the lead. Great rebound by Bell, but it's tipped away. Indiana had a lot more fight in him going after loose balls tonight. Turner, a three-point shot that time off the dribble. Coach Knight does not like a quick shot like that. He wants that defense having to work. Real run and, run and gun contest right now. Joe Chillers with that shot is fifth. There's record two on one with Collier. There's the shot fake, and then he goes up strong. He might learn something from Gladys. 19 now for Collier. Outside shot, McGill is off, and a nice rebound by Bell. Indiana having trouble coming up with that rebound. And that's Shepard with that rebound basket. Jimenez, Recker oh, finds Collier. And the slam dunk. It's all set up by Luke Recker right here in front of us. He saw it all the way. He's an outstanding scorer, a great athlete, but he's also a great passer. Jason Collier opened himself up and found two easy ones. Five assists now for Recker. And that ball out of bounds to Indiana. Michael Luke. Luke Recker now with 20 points and brought this crowd to life. Indiana by 25. Coach and I talking to him about after the first dunk right there, he, he, he kind of gave the guy a look. Coach Knight, not here to embarrass anybody. I mean, he's out there to play good, hard basketball. This is the second one right there. He might have got away with a shuffle right there, but the first one, when he knocked it away, great defensive play, came down, he, he, he dunked the basketball. Here, we're going to take another look at this one. You can see he shuffles right there. He really travels, but the, the first one, after he dunked it, he kind of stood there and gave the guy a look. And uh, Coach, Coach Knight doesn't care for that at all. He's out here to see good, hard basketball, and I'm sure he doesn't want to take anything away from Luke's hard play tonight, but uh, don't need any of that. All right. Well, it's exploded Indiana out to a 25-point lead. And Recker comes out, a chance to meet he and his mom in the lobby of the hotel last night. A nice young man, very outgoing. Terrific gentleman and should have a great career here at Indiana. Well, he's really quick, explodes. I mean, not only offensively, but explodes into those passing lanes. It's just amazing how quick uh, really playing hard tonight. Foul from behind. 19 now through the first three quarters. There were 11 assists for Indiana compared to 20 assists for Hawaii. Hawaii did a nice job moving the ball around, led by their two guards. Joe Childress, 5'10", junior. Come here. Get that one. They're all pretty nice soft rims. I think these would be nice shoes. Rims to have. Very nice arena here. I haven't seen one I didn't like. <laughs> Childress good on that second one. There's ones at the county fair. Once in a while, they kind of you know, make them little. But other than that, I like most of them. So, okay. Other than the Cass County Fair, you, you found rooms you liked, huh? Well, I'm sure they're going to look into that for next summer, huh? <laughs> Quick shot this time. Oh, Luke Recker forgot to block out right there. They're going to get a foul. Or he's going to get a foul on Larry Rich now playing out front to bring the ball down. Lewis behind the line is off. Richardson high for that rebound. Record comes oh, up with pass. it. And that was a behind the back pass that beat the defense. Now three, three on, on one, one the other oh, way. Oh, very nice. And Recker on the block. He recovered to block that shot by Bell. Excellent hustle by Luke Recker. Outstanding break. Maurice Bell did a nice job of dishing off. He got it back. See right here, there just wasn't much time to think about that pass right there. Larry Richardson not able to get it in, but good job. Maurice Bell goes up, and here comes Recker out of nowhere. We talked about his explosiveness tonight, and uh, he's been all over the court. Anthony missing on that free throw. Well, this is the kind of game that Recker uh, likes. It's open court, lots of chance for individual performance and he's played very well in high school that way and has really come on to 
tonight as well. Good pass fake there by Charlie Miller against the zone press. They're putting a lot of pressure on. Becker inside gets fouled. Intentional. They're going to call that intentional. They feel like Dan Hartnett, Hartnett went up and just slapped him right across the head. Anybody watching the game last night on ESPN saw a foul called against Purdue. See right here, you can see right there, he didn't, you know, it, they call it intentional when you don't go after the ball. He, there's no way that he's slapping at the ball. He just slaps right at Luke Recker's head. He catches it. Luke Recker, the best thing you do in that situation, unless for some reason you really do get hurt, step right back up. As he did, he snapped right off the floor, but uh, we talked about the intentional foul. You saw Purdue get a real tough call last night. Uh, probably not an intentional call. It really uh, could have determined the outcome of that game. Two free throws, and Indiana gets the ball. That's why no one lined up in the lane. Hartnett comes out. And now Indiana will inbound it, so Wrecker. Gets the two free throws. Now a steal, though, on the inbounds play. I think Charlie Miller was ready for that. And Larry Richardson. He was ready for that block. Yeah. Hey, Indiana not known for their shot blocking, but that is number nine. Ninth shot block, 12 steals. And here's a move in the inside. Shepard got in. Let's look at the block. Take a look at Larry Richardson coming over. Nice help right there. Indiana never going to be a great shot blocking team because Coach Knight's going to teach positioning rather than getting in there and jumping up and trying to block shots. I mean, uh, Coach Knight, when you play against great shot blocking teams, they usually have a lot of problems because with the shot fakes and things like that, he feels like uh, that's not a not something that is really needed defensively. AJ Guyton back in the lineup as Luke Recker leaves, gets a nice hand from this crowd. Luke Jimenez has done a nice job for Indiana tonight. He's handled the basketball. I think more importantly, he's really set the tone defensively. He's a bigger, stronger body. Luke had a little trouble with a lot of quickness some of the guards in the Big Ten might bring to the table, but still, he's a guy that at least can put a body on people. Excellent passing by Indiana. A.J. Guyton with that assist, the bounce pass to Jimenez. He now has seven points. The, the thing that really shows there is how they're starting to read one another. In other games, they were not reading one another. That time, Jimenez waited until A.J. Guyton had the ball in the middle. Then he made his cut before it. Jimenez would have already made the cut, been gone, and he wouldn't have been a factor. Oh, well, that shot way off. Saved back to A.J. Guyton. Four, Four on one. one. Let's see. Charlie Miller gets the jam. Guyton got rid of it early. Everybody else has got one tonight. Charlie Miller deserves one. Indiana now by 29 at the start of the fourth quarter. Contact inside and a foul. And that goes on Luke Jimenez on the push. That's his fourth foul. Andre Patterson and Will Gladness check in. Richardson and Miller come out. Larry Richardson, nice job, both defensively. He scored a couple baskets. Nice hand from this Indiana crowd. A few of the Hawaii fans start to file in. Hawaii plays Illinois State in the championship game after this first game. Bell good on the free throw. Newton checks back in. Turner on top. Picked by Andre. Let's see if Andre gets into this offense. Oh, Guyton got that one away. Now Andre. Travel. They're going to call travel. Ooh, that pivot foot. He got the rebound and basket, but it won't count. And Coach Knight would really like to see Andre Patterson do a couple good things. Here at the end of the end of the half or end of the game, he's putting back in there. Andre struggled the other night against Hawaii. Quick shot off. 
Andre! Andre on the break. And that ball slapped away. It took a while for that pass to get down the court. Not a real good pass. Coach Knight looking at Luke Jimenez says we really don't need that. Good hustle by Childress, though, to get back and knock that away. 14, Rusty Chapman, 5'8 junior, comes in. Titan don't want to post him up. High advantage for Guyton at 6 1. Told you, he's going to take it right to Gladness. Can't get the roll. Now Turner has it. Get it up there. He does. It didn't look like he had room, but he forced his way in there. Turner hits. See, that's the difference between Turner, Gladness, compared to Collier. And see how quick they are off their feet, and it's more difficult for Jason Collier. That's why he has to learn to move a little quicker, uh, release that shot a little quicker with it. Turner and Gladys can get by on pure athleticism because of the quickness they get up off the floor. Patterson, Chapman. They'll go to the line. Patterson now has two. I think they got three numbers on that scoreboard. You mean as Indiana goes over the 100 mark? Well, I don't know. I think they do. Thank you. Chapman misses. He scored 26 a game at Southwest Community College in Mississippi. Very important on this free throw. You really got to step in and get that low guy out of there. Otherwise, he's almost got better position coming from the angle he's coming in there than the low guy. The low guy really almost at a disadvantage trying to block people out against him. Guyton in the lane. Open shot for Gladness. He's long. Good pass fake by A.J. Guyton. William Gladness, a guy in Indiana, wants to get the ball down on the block. He's a, kind of a streaky shooter. He can step out 10, 15 feet, but uh, not a guy you want standing out there pumping jumpers all night. Long shot outside is off. That's Jeter. Jeter had it knocked away. Great rebound. Patterson went to the look at him on the bench. After a tough couple days, after a tough loss to Hawaii, he uh, and the rest of the Indiana team has responded very, very well tonight. Nice double team there on Chapman. Indiana trying a little, little trap right there. A little half-court trap. As soon as the dribbler turns his back, they kind of want to run up to you, similar to what Kentucky does. Shot completely missed, and easy rebound by Newton. Now Eggers has it. He's my kind of guy, pulling rebounds down without ever leaving the floor. I like those guys, huh? <laughs> Robbie Eggers does a nice job blocking out. This shows if you do things the right way, you don't really have to have a tremendous amount of leaping ability. Mandeville inside. Good pass by Richard Mandeville. Eggers has got the roll there on the soft side. Excellent pass. And again, good positioning by Indiana. Robbie Eggers finds the open spot in, against the Northeast Louisiana defense. Richard Mandeville finds him. He finds a little 10 foot jump shot to go along with him. There's Newton, spins. And a tip by Jeter that time. Missed block out. Strong. Jimenez all the way down. Mandeville take that jumper off. And there's Newton. Chapman with a tough shot there. Gets it to go. Quick release to avoid the block. He has done a nice job to break that press. Better get used to it. We're going to see it. Indiana will see it on Saturday against Kentucky. Bet they will. Good block right there. Jade Nixon now in the game with that block. Yeah, pretty quick on the outside. And he got a screen. Didn't have any problem shooting the ball. Oh, good play. Guyton tips it over to Eggers. And he misses on the layup. He was thinking about dunking it when he first went up. Newton kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, it looked like he was going to go up and try to block it, and all of a sudden he just backed off. Still a good play by A.J. Guyton to tip it away. Chapman misses. 
Indiana can't come up with it. In and out, and Indiana will have it. Indiana stretched his lead now to 29. You're watching Big Ten Basketball. So uh, one thing Coach talked about in his chalk talk is a little bit that uh, Indiana worked on its screening in its couple days off. Miller good on the free throw. Indiana will leave immediately following the game. Uh, playing back to Indiana. Flying through the night and scheduled to arrive in Indianapolis. About 1 o'clock. With seats that are made for 5, 10 people. Huh? Is, that, is that right? I know I'm looking forward to that 12-hour play. Inside. Shot is off. Mandeville comes away with it. Turner on the break to back it out. Three on two. Oh. And he got a layup. He's going for 100 next time down. Indiana. 13 now for Turner, so taking advantage of his chance to start. Comes through with a nice game. Outside shot is good. That's Terrell Jeter. Got six. Good screen by Eggers on Chapman. Good hustle by Northeast Louisiana. Damon Marceau, number 11. That's Damon, 5'8 junior. Okay, let's go. Charlie Miller on the out of bounds. Play that one short. Mandeville has the rebound. Knocked right across that three point line, but not to take the shot. Charlie Miller now on the shot is off. Final minute of play. Crowd wants Miller to score, goes to Turner. Oh, good pass. Reverse layup is good. Twice now he's gotten inside and manufactured the shot. He's very crafty in around the basket. He's so quick, just a little hop, all of a sudden he's up and under the basket laying that ball in. Great offensive play from Rob Turner here tonight for Indiana. And that one good. Marceau hits the shot from the three-point line. Charlie Miller on the baseline is off. Save to Turner, never save it under the opponent's basket. That's what happened there, and Turner is going to get fouled. He's been gone a long time for us, but he still remembers all the defensive rules and offensive rules. Right? <laughs> There's some Indiana fans. Jamming all the way. Uh, that gentleman right there, all the way from Florida, James Roll Haley. And his little boy Tyler watching. Dot Pinnell with him. Dot. A long time Indiana booster. Indiana brought about 300 fans. Rob Turner picking up on his average. He's been a nice addition to this Indiana team. Ball tipped out of bounds. There they are, most of them high above. As Hawaii got the choice seats for the tournament, but their Indiana fans showed great spirit in both games. Steele with six seconds. Turner's going to get one more lap. He makes it a jam. And that'll do it. Indiana comes back from a defeat Friday with a big win, 103-69. We talked, Ted, as the two coaches meet. Mike Vining and Bob Knight. Bob Knight gets his 600th victory as head coach of Indiana. That record now 600 wins, 210 defeats, and quite pleased with the way his team came back. Friday, Indiana was out hustled by an Iowa rain or a Hawaii rainbow team. But tonight, Ted, we saw Indiana come out ready to play and took control of the game early. It was a team that played much harder. I think it really started on the defensive end where they really took it too slow to Northeast Louisiana, really went at them. Because of that, they opened a lot of things up on the offensive end. Uh, I'm sure that Coach Knight, very pleased with tonight's play, still a little disappointed with Friday night's play, trying to figure out how you mix the two so Indiana can beat, uh, you know, some teams that we would, that, that, that he would consider better teams. 
There's your final score, Indiana 103, Northeast Louisiana 69. And Indiana will try to use this as they take on a big week. Our next telecast will be Wednesday when the Hoosiers take on the Fighting Irish at Notre Dame. Game action begins at a special time of 7.30 p.m. For Ted Kitchell, this is John Laskowski. Aloha from the great state of Hawaii.